The scientific seminar, which is entitled Kuwait Through the Ages, Through Monumental Witnesses and Historical Resources, kicked off this morning with the attendance and participation of many local, regional and international researchers and speakers. The three-day event is organized and held by the National Council for Culture, Arts and Letters, or the NCCAL, and includes various sessions discussing five different axes concerning the archaeological background of the country. Hib Abdurrahman has more details in the following report. Under the patronage of Minister of Information and Minister of State for Youth Affairs, Sheikh Salman Subahi Salim Al Hamoud Subah, who was represented by Secretary General for National Council for Culture, Arts and Letters, NCCAL Ali Luha, the seminar entitled Kuwait Through the Ages kicked off. The historical and scientific event discussed the first acts, which is the stone and the beginning of the settlement during the six papers presented by experts and scholars in this historic era in the region. Well, I think it's wonderful that Kuwait have uh, made this uh, seminar possible and I'm uh, very pleased to be able to speak here and talk about the amazing history you have here in Kuwait. I've been working on the island of Filica who has a lot of Bronze Age occupation and I've been working with some of the material from there and there's a lot of material coming from all over the Gulf and it's 4,000 years ago it came to this island and there's a lot of um, very interesting material that I, I look forward to presenting for the audience. We are an Italian team that uh, we have an excavation in Kurainia site in Failaka Island. This is the fifth uh, season of excavation and so we, we know very well Kuwait and Failaka. We dug in the northern part of the island. We have found a big village that uh, we can date to the end of 19th century and the beginning of 20. But we found also another site very close to this village that we start to, to dug in the 2011. And so we, now we are sure of that this, this new settlement we can date in the 8th century uh, IED and so we have another site that we can date in the early Islamic uh, period. Dr. Peter Brunsecki, who is a researcher at the Institute of Archaeology at the University of Warsaw, started the first session of the symposium that dealt with the site Bahra 1 in the Subbaya and the efforts of the Polish mission since 2009 to study the site dates back to the culture of slaves in the region. He said that the initial results of the missions of discovery that reached to five so far show that they are dealing with large-scale residential communities to the prehistoric era of the Stone Age Cooper, noting that the site has a length of 180 meters and width of 50 meters. The seminar continues for three days as a number of experts and researchers would introduce their scientific worksheets as well. Holding such archaeological and events inviting international professors and experts in the field is considered a very good opportunity to introduce Kuwait to the globe as a country with a distinguished background and history. Kuwait National Library, this is Heba Abdurrahman, reporting for English News.